fancy intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Welcome back, everybody, to the Pirate University with your host, the professor, Captain Rev Deuce. And I fought in many server wars, many galactic rows, if you will. Lost a hand doing so. But today we're going to talk about how Rogue can certainly damage the world. So welcome back to the class. Welcome to the Pirate University. And today we're going to keep it unnamed. We're not going to call them out specifically because we don't want to danger the innocent. Like these rules are doing. Let me discuss one by one the ridiculous patriarchy that we stand before him. Ridiculous. Absolutely. Let's start with number one. And it so calmly says, survey ships mining UPC are protected. Warning prior to hitting zero node. Which, for those familiar with the pirating ways, it's real simple. No loot, don't shoot. Simple as that. And if you remember, I have no issue with rules. No, on contraire, I think that as a civilized pirating society, we should have them. Like parlay. That's a pirating rule, parlay. But... It's when we enforce a bunch of ridiculousness across the entire server. That's where we have a problem, such as rule number two. Look, at in the first section, we've already reached number two. That makes no sense at all. Botany Bay protected OPC on data names with a five-minute warning to hitting on a zero. So two points to bring up here. One, bullcrap. OPC is OPC at all times, okay? I did not lose a hand in the great Server 20 Galactic War for you to be silly. OPC is always OPC. If you see a ship that's OPC, hit it. If you don't, you've disappointed me. And as the largest content creator for this game, I'm giving you permission to do so. If they complain, tell them to come to me. I'll gladly have a conversation well thought out, a well-discussed dialogue with them about the merits of hitting OPC. So do it. The second part, five minute warning. Can anybody please? Can anybody name when the warnings ever work? This game, Star Trek Fleet Command. Woo! Star Trek Fleet Command. Yay! Spaceships does not send you a notification if you get a message. You get a notification for everything else. You get a notification when an armada starts. When an armada starts. When an armada starts. When your base is hit 15 minutes later. When an armada starts. But not when you get a message. What's the point of me sending you a message? Please tell me down in the comments section below ridiculousness and we're only at point two ladies and gentlemen <sighs> moving on to point number three only the devore on double latinum nodes and only the devore on sulaban nodes and only the devore or the north star on latinum nodes and level 28 plus systems why who are you to say what somebody can or can't use what if they didn't buy a north star what if they didn't spend a year getting the devore for free as always, row hurts who? Free to play. Who does it hurt? The free to play. Once again, this is just another group of either very long time playing players, which since I know the server's not that old, that's not the case, or dolphins and whales trying to control people again and tell them what they can and can't do. Man, just like real government in the real world. Must be nice to have money. And we don't mind whales, we just mind row. Not cool. Not cool. Next up, Outlaw Transport Space is protected OPC. Five minute warning prior to hitting zero node. Once again, you are wrong. Because OPC is OPC. Don't want to get hit? Don't go there. And who goes to Outlaw Warp Space? Who? Did you mean the Ferengi space? Is that what you do? the antique we're fun? Anyway, moving on, we don't have time to debate the silliness of this video. Borg Transport Space Protected. Oh, there, there it is. Borg Transport Space. OPC, five minute warning prior to hitting. Nope. The Vidar is a warship. Oh, yes, it is. It isn't a miner. No, it's not. So you hit it if you want. That's the rules. And you know why it's the rules? Here's the best part about this video. You want to hear my favorite part about this video? It doesn't matter if you don't agree with me. Because you know who does agree with me? The game. <laughs> The game agrees with me. <laughs> the game says I can. So thy will. Not to go all do as thou wilt on you or anything. That's, that's a discussion for a different day. 
Next up, survey ships in deep space are protected while mining regardless of if UPC, OPC, zero node. So for us older servers and some of the whales out there, you would remember this is to be called the gentleman's agreement. We agree as gentlemen to leave each other alone because of the limited nodes in space. And while I do greatly agree that they've yet to increase the four star and five star nodes in these systems, that does not give you the right to tell people to leave my crap alone. Because if I see your four star node sitting there with 300,000 OPC, you think I'm just gonna go, no, I'm taking it home with me. OPC is OPC. And here's how you fix that. Everybody crying about it, real simple. Do your research. We have dozens of researches for protected cargo, for overall cargo capacity. Do your research, you want to cry about me taking 400,000 ore from you. Maybe. Also, hey, officers, we have so many humanity officers now. There's so many different things that you could do to not be complaining right now. Next up, limit two miners per player in any space system, which is really funny because people always telling me that I should be mining with four miners at a time. But if I can only do two per... Hmm. This does go back to a problem with Scopely more than this stupid row. The problem is that Scopely is yet to add more four-star nodes in the game. There are over a thousand of each three-star node, but hundred of each four-star node. That's obviously a big problem, something that they should address as they're pushing more and more players into the 40s, 50s, and beyond. This means that they have got to add to the economy by adding more nodes of those size and of those type. Still, at the same time, it's the internet, everybody. It's pixels. It doesn't have to be this serious. Moving on to the next one. I didn't even read that whole one open, but we're moving on. Warships mining are not protected anywhere. Well, that's a duh. It's a warship. It's in the name. Warship. Blow it up. I mean, it's, it's like if you see Rev Douches flying around in his Enterprise, smack it. You see me on my level 28 Vidar, smack it. I don't care. It's a warship. Cry me a river. Oh. Nope. Won't do it. Deep space does not include territory systems. And slowly intended as a level 38 warp restrictive system. Did, did I just read that right? What? D space does not include territories and is solely intended as the level 38 plus restrictive. What? That's not deep space, you noobs. That's deep. <sighs> Mo moving on to the next part of the. Oh my god. It's not level 38 plus warp range is not deep space. Transwarp token spaces are protected in all instances. Exception in 1D, 1E, 1H. If you have to add exceptions, just proves it's stupid. Tygo Core belongs to the server. No PvP. <laughs> Wrong again. PvP is PvP. Suck it up. Y'all wouldn't even know about this if it wasn't for me anyway. So shut up. By the way, this is an anonymous server. Nobody knows who it is, so it's okay. <laughs> Armadas are protected unless started in territory that isn't owned by starting members of an alliance. Uh, bull crap. Because the game itself said Armadas are PvP. <laughs> Suck it. Game says I can do it, so I'm going to do it. Bam! <laughs> Pirating away. Who does this even help? Huh? Who does that help? Who, do, who does that help? If you don't want to hit armadas, don't hit armadas. Put it in a gentleman agreement. Don't hit them. It's no big deal. But to force rules? Nope. I'll do whatever I want to do. Armadas started by an alliance have 10 minutes to restart if failed. Nope. If you lose it, you sucked. It ain't yours no more. You don't have a, ooh, that was my armada. No, it wasn't. It was yours when you paid the price. If you lost and I pay for it because you made it easier for me, sucks to be you. Snooze, you lose. Get better, noob. Okay? Get wrecked, mate. Next up. Any alliance trying to steal an armada before 10 minutes is up can be removed by the original alliance. Please go to war with me, because then I get PvP and I get content, and I can have fun in a game besides just chasing after red triangles and mining. Which, according to this, I won't be able to do a lot of mining anyway, because I'm limited to how much mining I can do in particular systems. Gosh, see how this takes the fun out of the game? It's a game, people! It's a game! Have fun! This isn't fun. 
not fun. Next up, gosh, how many minutes we've gone? Oh boy, this is taking too much time. If any player engages in PvP and then goes to an Armada Circle or leaves an Armada Circle to engage in PvP and returns to the Circle, only that player has lost Armada protection. Who's keeping track of this? Is there a referee on this server just going, whoa, 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 he's out of bounds! He's out of, smack him! He's out of bounds! Just read this and tell me it doesn't sound stupid. I can't wait to hear about this server referee crew that exists that's just going system to system, making sure everybody obeys the rules. <sighs> Armada participants will be given 60 seconds to clear an Armada area post-Armada battle. Sitting in or near the circle, waiting for Armada to end is frowned upon. Why? You want that parking space, Susie? Should have got there first. We're making rules that make no purpose. They're just being silly. Like, grow up, children. All right, next section. We got we got to move it. We got to move it. Because this is in caps, so you know it's important. Caps lock means it's important. This section is unaffected by KOS marks as it is server row unless noted otherwise. <sighs> yeah, okay. In an uncontested takeover period, UPC survey ships on mining nodes and all ships on capture nodes are protected. Bull ship. Wrong. Oh, gosh. Mm. All floating ships are unprotected. Now that I agree with. KOS may hit all targets. Yeah, cool. Enemy territory. There are no protections. Duh. It's enemy territory. It's in the name. You don't have to say it. It's so superfluous to add this. <sighs> to eliminate interference from allies, join stacking between formal and informal allies for the purpose of conquering a territory or defending is expressly forbidden. This is defined as interference in the 1v1 territory takeover. Alliances found guilty of joint stacking will be prohibited from offensive territory contesting for 60 days. Please tell me how you're going to enforce that. How are you going to stop them from spending the resources and getting a territory? Okay, next up. It must be surrendered without interference by any third parties. Both parties are entitled to third party observation from an unaligned alliance or group. Hey, referees! <laughs> Good to see you here! Do you work for the NFL? Because you seem to be blind here, too. <laughs> hmm. And no more than five who will engage in battle unless and only in the case of a rogue entering the system. Oh, wait till we get to that section. <laughs> Alliance stacking is prohibited. A new member to an alliance has a one-week cooldown and can't enter a TC battle once again. Notify me of the referees here. Who's keeping a list and checking it twice? I want to know the Santa Claus of this server. It's like, ha <laughs> ha, you can't territory. You've only been in the alliance six days and 22 hours and 14 minutes, my good ma'am. <laughs> no, thou shalt not participate. Redonkey. Redonkey, let's keep it going. Alliances must keep rosters. A player belongs to one single alliance, not two. Update your rosters weekly. This roster will be used to cross-check TC battles for announcement players. They're literally making a referee system. This is awful. This is so dumb. It's a video game, people. Chill out. Not only is it a video game, it's a mobile video game. This. This little box. This. My claw hand holds it. I play with my claw hand. How am I supposed to make a spreadsheet with this hand when I'm playing with this hand? It's a mobile game. Chill out. Okay. Any alliance at war can request mediation. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop you from hitting miners? That's all the wars are in this game. My gosh. Oh, God. Thank you so much. You have, you have made my heart healthier by all this laughter. Oh. Oh, God. Professor, thanks you. Oh, to end a war after 72 hours. Three days. They can't make it three days in a war. Hey, Server 20, remember we were in a two-year server war and nobody moaned and complained and made a three-page row? Cry me river. Oh, oh gosh. That's just making me too irritated. Oh, gosh. I got to...
take this off. You know how hard it is to get a hook out of a jacket? It's ridiculous! <sighs> Next up. Any agreements to end wars will be kept confidential unless both parties agree. What? A top non leader of our server mod can mediate. If no parties agree, a top non leader or server mod can mediate. If no agreement can be reached, the top nine reserves the right to intercede. What? Has nothing to do with y'all's ugly month. It ain't your fight. Why are you bothering with it? You're literally making Roe to hurt people. This whole thing is to hurt people. Who says if Alliance 13 and 14 are at war, you have the right to come in and swing your big nacelles around for no reason just because you wrote it on a piece of Discord? That's stupid. Once again, let's hurt the free to play. Let's hurt the regulars. Let's hurt everybody. This is dumb. Next up. Now we get to my section. Thank you for the shout out, everybody. Rev Deuce appreciates it. Your professor loves you. A rogue player is a player or alliance who's committed at least three unresolved row infractions. Now that's stupid. Now this next part I will say I agree with. Or who engages in racist, sexist, homophobic, or hateful behavior or harassment in a consistent manner. Those players need to be reported. And if you're having trouble getting that reported and don't know how to report those players, Talk to me. Talk to any content creator for the game. Talk to the moderators in the official Discord. We'll gladly help push those up and show you how to get that through customer support. We all agree you don't need sexism, racism, homophobia, or any type of communication or any type of harassment in the game. We can agree on that point. That's not being a rogue player. That's just being a douche canoe. Any player joining an alliance marked as rogue is by extension also a rogue. I guess... Common sense. Anyway, any rogue player joining a previously not designated a rogue by extension would make that alliance a rogue unless removed. So basically, players, if they decide, hey, maybe I don't want to be like this no more, nope, no matter. You're branded. Put the A on your chest, baby. You're the harlot. You're the adulterer forever. Suck it up, buttercup. Whole alliance suffers for the rest of your life. Fantastic. What a brilliantly designed I don't even want to mention the word anyway a rogue player alliance can petition ho oh, back to the referees we go <laughs> back to the referees to be removed the rogue must repay the victim's fair compensation pretty sure that breaches TOS because now you're saying you have to spend money on the game to pay somebody that's a direct TOS violation by the way because there's no way to give somebody back resources so unless you're saying they got to send them a twenty dollar Apple gift card which is a breach of TOS, proving this whole row is nothing but a dumb sham. Rip. Rogue votes will be completed 48 hours after request, no more, no less. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the row of a server. I'm not going to tell you what server, just that it's a row of a server. And it's ridiculous. This is proof of how things like this do nothing but hurt players, how ridiculous this game can be. And hopefully you've enjoyed the entertaining aspect of this because I've always said, I don't care what servers decide to do, I'm simply going to give you my opinion. If it works for them, then it works for them. It doesn't work for me. Hope you all have a good time. Hope you enjoyed the entertainment on today's beautiful Friday or Saturday. What day is this? I think it's Friday. Friday. Live long and prosper. Stay safe with the Space Cowboys. Enjoy the game. Have fun. Have a little comedic humor. And if you didn't find this video funny, well, well, stay tuned for the informative videos instead of the, the comedic ones. Also, Roe is stupid. Don't enforce players you don't know who you'll never meet in real life to do something that they don't want to do. It's a video game. Have fun. Ah, bye! Hope you enjoyed the class, everybody. I would like to request, request to Scopely to add more Klingons to the game. That is what I was told to do. And so I am doing it, which, you know, is not maybe the best thing as a leader to just do what you're told, but it seems like a good request to make to add more Klingons. Everything is better with Klingons. Am I right? I am right. Because I'm a Klingon. Klingon, mach, tach, judge. We are Klingons. Let it remain. All right. Laurel's on a roll today. She's very excited. An even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house.